Joining us this morning with the latest is Ashton Flinders from the U.S. Geological Survey Volcano Observatory. Good morning, Ashton. Thank you for speaking with us today. Is the threat completely gone, or could the lava uh, possibly start back up again? Um, I, I would never say definitively, never, never. Uh, you know, volcanoes are unpredictable systems. Uh, what I can say is that from our understanding of the historical record, which goes back to about 1830, Typically for Mauna Loa, when a volcano erupts into one of its rift zones, like the Northeast Rift Zone, and it begins to decrease like this, there's usually not much coming back from that. So it usually shows a robbing of supply from the caldera, and that usually heralds the end of the eruption. And, and we're kind of right on line what we've historically seen. You know, Over the last 180 years, except for two exceptionally long-lived eruptions in the 1880s and 1850s, flows from the Northeast Rift Zone and eruptions from these areas last about three weeks. So we're almost two weeks into this, um, and if it dwindles over the next week and kind of ends, then we'd be kind of right on track with what we've historically seen. And does this have to do with that Fisher 3 supply, as it were? Is it, is it, has it gone down? Is it still supplying the lava flow? Does it get as far as the front? Where is this lava going? Yeah, you, you can think of kind of the summit of the caldera being a bucket of water, and there's, there's a hole in that bucket, and that hole represents flow down into the rift zone. And as that flow continues, that bucket of water gets lower and lower and lower. And eventually it's got to get to a point where it matches that hole and no more water comes out of that hole. And so we're kind of in a similar system. Maybe the summit caldera and the magma that supplies it has just decreased and been robbed of all of its supply to a point where it can no longer feed that flow down rift. Whether more supply comes inwards, whether magma moves from another part of the system into that area is still uncertain, but we don't see any evidence for that currently. So is there any movement at all at this time of the flow front? The flow front, I, I don't have an update from overnight because we haven't done overnight observations. Um, we'll get an update from our morning team in about maybe 45 minutes. From yesterday, there was no flow past about a mile and a half from the vent. So, you know, considerably maybe 10 to 12 miles from the DKI. Um, so it's really just near vent, if you look at the webcam right now, you don't see any of that, that really exciting and beautiful fissuring eruptions um, and fire fountaining and lava fountaining. So it, it seems like it's decreased to a point where pretty soon those flows are going to be 100% stagnant all the way up to the fissure. I see. And so as of right now, no movement uh, on the front. On the lower portions, yeah. Maybe, maybe 10 miles away from the highway right near the fissure, there's probably still a little bit. All right. Thank you so much, Ashton Flinder. Last thing, uh, anything that people can still do to stay aware? I mean, you said never say never. Yeah, uh, we'll definitely continue to turn into the USGS updates and the Hawaii County Civil Defense updates. Uh, they're your, your best source of information in the moment. And uh, as soon as we know, you'll know. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us, Ashton Flinders of the U.S. Geological Survey.